This is how you can make line animations like Isaac using only CapCut. Start a new project with a ratio of 916. Drag the black background onto the main track. Add a basic text from the text menu, then change the text to a bracket. Increase its size so that it almost covers the entire screen, then choose a nice font style. It's worth taking some time to find the font style that suits you the best, but if you don't want to search a lot, then use the Vivaldi italic style. Adjust the size if necessary. Resize the size of the black background. Change the color of the letter to yellow, or whatever you want. Check the stroke property, choose a slightly lighter color than before, and change its value to 1. Go down again, check the glow property. Change the intensity to 40, the range to 80 and choose the color of the font. You should get something like this. Copy the previous layer, change the color of the text to orange, the stroke color to something lighter, and the color of the glow to the same color as the font. Now make a compound clip from each text layer separately, then right click, find the edit menu, and choose the freeze option. With this, we make pictures out of them, and if necessary, because it will be, we can make a compound clip out of them again. Select the top layer, go to the video slash mask menu, and select the horizontal option. Change the value of the feather to about 60, adjust the position if needed, and you should end up with something like this. Of course, this is just a quick example. You can change the colors and properties as you want. If you like what you see, press a like, subscribe and write a comment if you want to see more similar videos or have any questions about the steps. And here's a little bonus. If you want a wave shape, you can look for another font in which the letter S gives a nice shape, and you can go through the previous steps with it. Or you can do this little trick. Select both layers and make a compound clip from them. Duplicate the compound clip and rotate it 180 degrees. Play a little with the sizes and the position so that the two brackets form an S. If you manage to position it, go to the video slash mask menu again and choose the horizontal option. Rotate it 180 degrees and align it roughly in the middle. Repeat these steps with the other layer as well. Check, and if the fit is a bit off, change the position a little. You should get roughly something like this. Okay, all that's left is the animation. Freeze both compound clips, then select them and make another compound clip out of them. Then again video slash mask menu and horizontal option, drag it all the way to the top of the screen, and mark the keyframe at this position. After that, go to the end of the compound clip, go back one frame, make another keyframe and drag the mask to the bottom of the screen. Let's see. Almost done, I just forgot to set the feather value. Let's say 10. Let's look at it again. Nice. All you have to do is export it, and use it in your next project. Just don't forget to set the video blend property to screen to make the black parts disappear. Hope this video helped you. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you've tried it.